Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Hello, my kings and queens, my loves. How are you guys doing today? I hope that you guys are having a great day. I am having a great day. My window over there, I have it halfway closed so it doesn't bother you, but it's a very sunny day and I'm doing great over here. I'm your host, Queen M. And I'm, on, I'm coming in here today to speak about a topic, a challenge that I was in with my YouTuber sisters, guys. So this challenge was created by Keto Twisted Gypsy. Yes, we had a very quite large group of women doing a week challenge of water intake at 64 ounces a day guys um and anyway, she created this group so we could kind of support each other and you know give each other advice you know push each other you know to get that 64 ounces of water because we know that water is you know very good for our bodies and basically to cleanse ourselves and um Another thing is if you drink water, um, you lose weight. It redirects you away from those sodas and those juices because you're already intaking a lot of fluids, guys. So I joined this challenge because I thought it was going to be interesting because I really don't like to drink that much water. But I said, you know, now I'm going to have the support. This would be a very great challenge. Thank you so much, Keto Twisted Gypsy for including me in this challenge. Um, as a result, I lost about four pounds, which is always great, guys. So I wanted to speak to you guys a little bit on how I did my um, water intake. You let me know in the description box below if it, there would have been a better way to do this. Now, like I said, I don't like to drink water so i try to do different ways on how i can get the water intake uh without too much of a bland nothing taste so let's get right into it so first i took my coldest water little tumbler and this is if i was at home this is where i would keep my water so that way it could stay cold for as long as i needed it even though we were gulping large consumptions of water it wouldn't have time to get warm anyway but i decided to use this coldest water uh tumbler to drink in the house and this is a 20 ounce as you can see here let me put it right it's a 20 ounce bottle so all I needed to do was drink like three and a half of these. So this worked out perfect, guys. The other one I chose to decide to drink out of in the house, guys, was out of this large, very large Dunkin' Donuts coffee. As you can see, this is a 20 ounce. This is a larger one. I don't know how many ounces this is, but nonetheless if i was drinking three and a half of these i know i could drink three and a half of these or four and i will be good so there we go with that now if i was on my way outside um obviously how are we gonna be you know drinking our water and i don't like to take these outside too much um in case i go to a store or whatnot I would rather drink out of a bottle. That way, when I'm done, I just throw it in the garbage can. So, I decided to go with the plain old regular bottle of water. Yes, guys, it does say great value. Yes, because, you know, we got to be frugal here. So, I went ahead and drank out of this, guys. So, um, this one is a 16-ounce bottle. Then I also went to the store and I found a great, great deal, guys. So, and as you all know, the water is zero calories. I also found this Nest Nestle, Nestle uh, Splash Parking Raspberry Water. And this one is 
a 16 ounce bottle guys but as you can see here it says that it's zero calories just like it says it right here so this gives you a flavor of raspberry with zero calories it gives you that feeling of kind of drinking a soda but no calories or no nothing and it has that little acidy soda just so i could feel like i was drinking something not not waterish so i decided to go with this raspberry and by the way when i went to the store i found six bottles for one dollar guys a case of six bottles for one dollar you cannot beat that that's less than a quarter each then i went ahead and got the uh splash parking lemon flavor guys in the 16 ounce as well do you see get this oh my god this was so good once again it was let me find it here it was zero calories as you could see so i went ahead and purchased this once again it was six bottles for one dollar a whole case for one dollar guys and this tastes very very close to ginger ale so it was great that i had some flavored water guys sparkling flavored water the other thing that i did was and this plain water i was able to add this diet snapple singles to go so i know these have five calories in each so one packet to one packet of bottle but i will tell you how i made up for those five for those five calories that are in here okay so this one is in the peach flavor in the uh diet snapple then i also got this is also peach in the diet snapple but then i got this these from weiler's light strawberry lemonade you see that so it's one packet once again per bottle just to give it a flavor guys just for flavoring then i got the hawaiian punch um i forgot what flavor this was berry blue i put that one in there and i also used the pink lemonade from wireless as you can see so one pack one bottle um a lot of varieties i also have the wireless light which is five calories then i also use the crystal light as you can see right there this one is zero calories guys and this made um 24 servings i know you cannot see it but right there this bottle this little bottle right here is 24 servings of these bottles so this was a good buy from the dollar tree for one dollar guys so the other thing that i also used is once again this plain old water with lemon squeezed lemon or infused lemon and i did that as well the other item that i did do was take these as you can see here and i also added lemon to these to make it a little bit more flavorful and i added for example maybe this raspberry i will probably add a little bit of this pink lemonade just to give it a little bit more of a flavor so going into all of this guys these five calorie intake that that um i in took that was supposed to be zero what i did was i added an additional uh glass of water to an additional one glass and a half of water in my head in my opinion i could be wrong just to you know um take away the five calories intake what i did was i just added an extra cup to cup and a half of water to my daily um intake um because i just cannot take eight cold glasses a day of water 
So some of these are five calories and some of them are zero. So that's how I was able to incorporate all of these into my waters and my sparkling water and making up for the five calories, just added another glass and a half of water per day. Now, how I did it was I woke up between 4.30 and 5.30 in the morning and I tried to drink it uh, three glasses um, in the morning before doing anything or before my breakfast or anything like that. Um, that way I have maybe like an hour to an hour and a half to, um, you know, where we had to go all day, guys. Yes, to the bathroom. So I give it about an hour and a half just to cleanse myself out from that water. And if I needed to go outside for any essentials or anything of that sort, then I would stop taking my water. And when I got home, you know, I was only out for like two hours or so. When I got home, maybe at two o'clock or three o'clock in the evening, I immediately started my drinking the rest of my five glasses to six glasses of water, such as I just showed you. That way I would finish my drinking about seven or eight o'clock at night and it will give me the hour to hour and a half or even two hours before going to bed and not have to wake up in the middle of the night guys because we all know that it's so annoying that we have to walk um 150 feet 200 feet, 200 feet to just get to the bathroom so i did not want to do that so that's how i divided my day up and got my water intake but boy did i need that toilet paper guys <laughs> that's when we really needed it because we lived in the bathroom but we got through it we got through this week we did it all together guys i thank each and every one for your support i wanted to include a few people that really helped uh, me out and of course that is Keto Twisted Gypsy, thank you once again. And the Autumn the autumn Heather, thank you so much. And Mommy's Budget. Out of all the group, those are the three that has a YouTube channel. I do apologize if I did not mention you because maybe I didn't find your page. But there was about, there was quite a few more people um, in, the, in the group. So if I did not tag you, please tag yourselves. Um, so like I said, this challenge was created uh, by Kiddo Twisted Gypsy. Thank you so much. And thank you all for um, joining in into the challenge. We appreciate each and every one of you guys. It was such a great, great experience. Hopefully we could do another challenge and support each other because we gotta we're women we gotta support each other empowering women right being positive straining out the crown to each other right so that's what we're here for to give a helping hand and at least that's what i'm here for so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what i did wrong in the comment below let me know how i could improve um any changes that i can do thank you again um hope that you guys have a great day Stay home, stay safe, stay positive, spread positivity, and positivity will always come right back to you. Thanks again. I hope that you enjoyed. Like I said, give it a thumbs up, just smash that like, and share my videos, guys. And stay tuned to the next video. Bye. Oh, well,